Hi there and welcome to this BSG primer on how to draft contributions to ITUT study groups. So what are the main elements in a contribution to a, a study group? Well, at the top, you will always have a heading or a title. That's what the contribution starts with. Then an abstract, a brief summary, uh, so that anyone reading the contribution can quickly understand what it is all about. Then the two main sections that you should always have in a contribution is a rationale or a discussion, and finally, a proposal or a conclusion. That's the last section. If you wish, you can also have two optional uh, sections, one a supplementary section, an annex, for example, a draft recommendation or edits to a draft recommendation. And you may, if there are intellectual property issues related to your contribution, you should also include a patent and licensing declaration. So that's the structure of a contribution. Let's look at it visually. Here's an example of a contribution to a regional group for Africa. You'll see at the top left, the study period, the top right, the meeting, and the number of that particular contribution, and under that, the location of the meeting. Much of this will already be done by the TSB Secretariat. Uh, it will be provided in the template. What you need to add is the source, the organization submitting the contribution, and the title. And very important to have a clear and concise title, so it can be understood even by other study groups as well. You will also uh, ideally identify the question to which your contribution is being submitted. What are the two most important sections of your contribution? Well, really, it's the rationale or the discussion and the proposal. The rationale of the discussion is the section that allows you to set out the reasons, the justification of why you're making a particular proposal. It describes the methods or the methodology you've used. It comments on the significance of any findings and observations that you've made. Following this rationale, or discussion, the most important section at the very end of the document is your proposal. And the proposal offers concrete ways to move the work forward of the study group. It's the most important section. It offers suggestions for acceptance by the meeting. It makes a request for decisions or actions by the study group. And your proposal ideally should indicate clearly how the proposal is linked to the work of the study group and clearly identify the action or decision that you are requesting by the study group. Now, proposals in contributions are really the jet engine fuel of study groups. That's what makes standards. You may also have a contribution that is informational. Now, contribution that is informational should still end with a concluding section. So instead of a specific proposal, what you might have is a conclusion, which sums up your observations and findings and submit these to the study group for their consideration. So thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to receiving your contributions during this study period. This has been a Bridging the Standardization Gap program primer.